Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Paul, an international medical graduate currently pursuing my medical license in North America. Recently I have passed my Medical Council of Canada qualifying examination part 1. And as the title of the video suggests, today I'm going to be talking about MCCQ1 and all about preparation and what worked out best for me. Let's jump into the video. A quick disclaimer, this video was made completely on my experience. Now while I was taking my preparation, I kept in my mind how MCC would evaluate me through qualifying part 1 examination. I knew they would assess my acute management, chronic management, health promotion and illness prevention, psychological aspects, professional behavior. That's why I chose materials that would cover all those fields. For question bank, I used UWorld QBank for USMLE Step 2 CK as my sole question bank. As I was preparing for USMLE Step 2 CK at the same time, and I really found it helpful. For books, I used Master the Board's USMLE Step 2 CK. This is really a nice book, but unfortunately, it would not fulfill your preparation. Here is my materials I used for ethics preparation. I considered different websites. The first one is College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario CPSO Ethics. Secondly, Canadian Medical Protective Association official website, which is also called CMPA. And lastly, Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada official website. I had to spend a lot of time just for what to study from these websites, as I believed these were really valuable resources. If you are interested, please comment below. I would like to make videos on that. And for population health, I took help from the Association of Faculties of Medicine of Canada's Primer on population health. And a little from CP Shah Public Health and Preventive Medicine in Canada as I was running short of time. Just a quick reminder, uh, some of my friends told me they got almost 30 to 40 percent questions from ethics and population health. So there is no scope for us to take this lightly. As IMG, uh, we used to give more emphasis on treatment, but in Canada, MCC gives more importance on preventive medicine. This is one of the areas where we used to give less time, but it shouldn't be. Now about practice tests. When I was at the end of my preparation, I bought two practice tests, one MCQ and one CDM, just to evaluate myself at what position my preparation was. I scored quite similar to those tests and got a better idea about real exam. I also took one NBME practice test as I was also preparing myself for USMLE Step 2 CK. For those who were not aware of NBME, NBME is National Board of Medical Examiners Self-Assessment Practice Test for USMLE. But I found MCC practice test more useful because of similar question pattern like real exam. Before 10 days of my exam date, I bought full length practice test and I really found it helpful. I would highly suggest those MCC practice tests, if possible, all of them. That's all of my experience in short. If you have any questions or query, comment down below. I will try my best to answer those. In my next video, I am going to discuss about how to prepare for ethics. Please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my experience. I really appreciate your support. Stay with us.